Hi, this is Rebecca with the MS Guide, and I am here with my top five tips for surviving an infusion. Tip number one, hydrate. Hydrate well beforehand. Yes, you'll probably have to pee during your infusion, and that's a nuisance, but it's not as much of a nuisance as having the nurse jab you seven or eight times trying to find a vein. Hydrated veins are plump veins, and blump, plump veins? Plump veins are receptive to needles. Tip number two. Wear comfortable clothes. Very little about an infusion is comfortable, but if you dress in something that feels good and that, oh my goodness, you might even be able to fall asleep in, it will be much more pleasant. Tip number three. This is very, very, very important. Pack more snacks than you think you will need. I don't care how long your doctor has said your infusion will go. I don't care how long the drug company has said it will go. These things are unpredictable. And the only thing worse than being stuck in an infusion longer than you thought you would be is being stuck and being very, very hungry. So pack your snacks. Tip number four, pack entertainment as well books, an iPad or laptop filled with TV shows that you love, uh, a video game, oh, whatever, whatever entertains you, do it. Just make sure that you have headphones so you're not disturbing the people around you. And make sure you have extra chargers for any electronics. Again, the day can go long. You never know. Be prepared. Finally, tip number five, Treat yourself to something fabulous afterwards. Um, I didn't plan very well at my infusion earlier this week, so I ended up going home and indulging in a calorie-laden, really delicious but terrible for me fast food meal. You know what? If I do that once or twice a year, deal. Um, so eat something wonderful, drink something wonderful, hang out with a wonderful person, whatever brings you joy. Um, do it after an infusion because nothing makes me feel more like a sick person than sitting in an infusion center all day hooked up to a machine. Like that is the essence of some of the worst parts about having MS. So do something to celebrate you and to celebrate life. Um, very little controlled in infusion situations from the patient end. So do what you can and uh, good luck. Bye.